Earning your degree online doesn't mean you have to go about it alone. At Capella University, we're here to support you when you're ready. From enrollment counselors who get to know you and your goals, to academic coaches who can help you form a plan to stay on track. We care about your success and are dedicated to helping you pursue your goals. Going back to school is a big step, but having support at every step of your academic journey can make a big difference. Imagine your future differently at capella.edu. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Dr. Psych Mom Show. Today, I'm going to be talking about how the way you treat your wife often changes when you use porn. And this is a huge motivator for a lot of people to stop because a lot of women do not tell their husbands this because they don't want to hurt his feelings. And I mean, the real reason that they don't want to say anything is then the guy snaps back, well, if you don't want me to use porn, then why don't we, you know, do it every day, which is how often I use porn. And so, you know, that's not really helpful response because you barely want to have sex with him at all, never mind every day for reasons I'll get into. And um, so it's good for guys to hear this from somebody else, from me, right? Uh, Before we get into that, please do subscribe. I have loads and loads of subscriber episodes. 25% of my episodes are subscriber, you know, loads of them. One's about sex, one's about relationships, one's about family. So it's really a lot of bang for your buck, for your $8.99. All right, so how does it change How do men's interactions change with their wives when they've just stopped using? Because porn is a substance, you know, it releases a lot of dopamine. It primes you to be more sexual, to think about sex more, obviously. Same as when your wife watches HGTV, I always talk about this, then she wants to renovate your house. If she didn't watch HGTV that day, your bathroom would look fine. If she watched HGTV, then your bathroom is half its size and everybody else has a better bathroom and you better spend $20,000 right now minimum. Uh, Same thing if she reads a lot of romance novels. Same thing if she uses intimacy porn, which is what I call the accounts where a man and woman are staring into each other's eyes. And I have a great uh, paid podcast on... um, Every night feels like a sleepover when you marry your best friend, which is some bullshit garbage line from one of these accounts that's going to make women feel like you're, you know, not romantic enough because they're comparing you to a man who's getting paid. His livelihood is co-creating an account that with his wife where they look into each other's eyes and act romantic and, you know, do like romantic stuff all the time. That's going to prime her to interact with you differently. She's going to be staring at you across the kitchen. And then when you're like, what? What is it? Did I, you know, is there something on my face? She's going to sigh and think that you are bad because you're not responding like the guy that would look back and be like, oh, my love, I was just thinking about how much I love you or whatever. So when you use porn, these are the things that women say change in the sessions, right? The guy acts more aggressive in bed. He does different things. He does what I call the porn montage type of sex where he's flipping into different positions. Search out my podcast on porn montage. You can always use the search bar in the Spotify app for this show. Um, Flipping her into different positions so quickly that she can't possibly have an orgasm. Um, It doesn't feel like it's about her. It just feels the same as you would feel if she was like writing you a sonnet or something. You know, you'd be like, I don't like sonnets. We never wrote sonnets. What the fuck? Like, you know, what are you doing? This isn't about me. This is some other kind of weird fantasy you have going on. And I'm just who's who you have to do this with, you know. And that's how she feels. If you start doing sexual things that she doesn't like, don't give her an orgasm. She's uncomfortable. You know, she knows where you got it from. You got it from whatever you were just watching the other day. Right? And so she doesn't feel like sex is to connect because it's not to connect in that moment. All right, next. Guys outside of the bedroom act more sexually aggressive as well. So the reality is that most men don't come up and just grab the woman's boobs out of nowhere. They grab the woman's boobs if they were just watching a bunch of porn. You know, because those women that are paid, their livelihood is acting like they like sex online you know, um, to make money. So this is a job. And those women love when guys just come up and grab their boobs. They don't love it, of course, but, you know, that's what they're supposed to act like because they are making 
a male fantasy by what, what they do is the male fantasy. So the male fantasy is that the woman's ready to go all the time. So you could grab that woman, you could slap her ass, you could you do anything to her, right? In bed, out of bed. And remember, a lot of the accounts that men are following is like their version of intimacy porn. You should go back to that podcast. And so it isn't just straight up fucking, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's different. It's like this quote unquote amateur stuff where like the man and the woman are joking around a little bit, hanging out, you know, etc. Those are other accounts that men follow that are just as bad. Sometimes it's the same thing. Sometimes the amateur people have a little bit of interaction before they get down to it. But sometimes it's just a different sort of account where, Um, The one that I always talk about is the man is like slapping her ass, making her laugh with jokes, and basically everything he does, she looks at him with love. There are literally accounts where the woman is like doing like, you know how I do the videos on Facebook and everything. It's her, and she's like looking like lovingly at nobody, right? Like, but it's supposed to be at a guy. And then the caption is like, when you see him like, you know, get out of his truck, like, what the F, right? I mean, give me a shit of a fucking break when he gets out of his truck. That's how she looks at him. No. Like, but like, in it's very smart, you know, to do that for a to make money because every guy's like, oh my God, I want a woman to look at me like that when I get out of my truck. So watching these intimacy porn things is just as bad as regular porn because whatever she does in real life is not going to feel to you like it's okay compared to this thing that you've been primed to expect. Same exact thing with her and the romance or the HGTV. So anyway, so you're more aggressive. You're more likely to just grab her and act in these kind of ways that uh, the kids say are cringe, you know, like to just grab her or make some sexual remark or something like that. Doesn't seem like it's you, but you're like kind of channeling whatever you just saw. You know, and then when she responds like, yuck, you know, you you, you think badly about her because you're comparing her to these women online that are getting paid to act like they love whatever the guy does, whether it's romantic, sexual, whatever. Um, also, obviously, when you're masturbating a lot to porn, you you think that that's your sex drive. So then you think that that's worse, that there's a greater disparity between your sex drive and your wife's sex drive than there really is. So if you stopped using porn, you might see that you want to have sex twice a week at age 45. And you know what? She could do twice a week. She could do once a week, certainly. That's close to twice a week. She can't do every day, but neither can you without the porn, right? Guys are consistently shocked. Like, they'll, they'll say to me, you know, okay, I get it. Like, I should be saving my sexual energy for the marriage. I, I want to stop using porn. I, all these things you say, I agree with you. But, like, when I wean down, can I first, like, just masturbate without porn? And I'm like, oh, yeah, go for it, Right. They come back invariably. They're like, "Mm, it really, you know, for whatever reason, I really didn't feel like doing it, you know. I couldn't really do it without the porn. I just wasn't interested. And that's when they realize that the porn has been the substance, not the masturbating. Their natural sex drive is much lower when it's not artificially inflated by this substance, right? Just like women are shocked on the other end when their sex drive is higher than they thought when they get off of birth control or they get off of SSRIs. They're like, oh, wow, this is my real sex drive now and so men are like oh wow on the other side my sex drive is lower at this age than I realized when I'm not just like hitting my neurons with you know sex with infinity hot women ready to go you know which is making my drive over what it's supposed to be what it would naturally be at this at this age and stage so so that that's extremely and and very, very important point here is that you do not want to get further away from your wife on the spectrum of where your sex drives are. And now sometimes men say, but what if my wife doesn't want to have sex at all and I'm just staying in a sexless marriage, can I use porn? Well, man, do what you want. Like, then it's like your substance. Then it's like, um, it's like basically saying like, if I don't have any obligations to anybody and I'm not going to ethically do anything amiss, can I just do heroin? Like, sure, do heroin, you know? Like, I mean, it's not legal, but if it was, do whatever you want. If you want to sleep 16 hours a day, do that. But understand what you're doing is not good for you. You're just escaping reality. 
And if you do use porn, it makes you much less likely to say, why am I staying in a sexless marriage where we're not even working on it, where we're not going to therapy, nothing. When guys stop using porn, they're also much more motivated to have a difficult conversation with their wife called, I want to go to sex therapy or I want to go at least to couples therapy where we address our sex life, you know. They don't have to because short term they're making themselves less uncomfortable by being, you know, escaping into a reality where you're looking at infinity hot girls that want to sleep with you because it is like a virtual reality sort of thing. doesn't have to be classic virtual reality. This is what happens in your brain. Your brain looks at those women and your body thinks you're having sex. That's why you're able to get hard, ejaculate, etc. So if you get rid of that, then you have a lot more discomfort and therefore that discomfort can be motivating to actually change your situation. So you're basically getting off the drug. It's like getting off of Soma and Brave New World. Whenever you're uncomfortable, a lot of men use porn, you know, and some of them cannot go off it, by the way. Like they'll say, okay, I'll try this for two weeks and they're like, I can't. And then they realize that it really has become an addiction and then that becomes the focus of therapy. But many men can go off it, you know, and then they're like, oh, I just feel like I'm more in reality now. And the sex gets better for the wives. You know, they aren't, they don't feel like they're an actress in a play. They feel like the guy's actually seeing them. He's more attentive. He's less aggressive. He's less kind of, as I said, cringy in what he does or what he says in bed. You know, it seems more like a connection between two humans than that he's using her body to be a stand-in for the porn. And then guys on the internet will say every guy would pick sex with the wife over porn. That's not true. That's straight up not true. Uh, porn is a lot easier. It's a lot easier to masturbate. You don't have to face any potential rejection. You don't have to face any performance anxiety. You don't have, it, it doesn't matter if you go soft, you're not going to go soft because you can infinitely stimulate yourself visually and exactly tactilely the way that you want to. So there's a lot less risk in it. So any guys that struggle with anxiety, performance anxiety, relationship anxiety, a lot of them will use porn. You know, they'll say that they would rather have sex, but instead of initiate sex, which could go potentially awry, they will use porn. When they commit to not using porn, then they really have to do it. They have to actually power through that potential rejection, work on their relationship, figure out what's going on that's stopping the, you know, them from feeling close, work on their sexual technique. Like, there's so many different things. So, you know, hopefully this was interesting to some of you. It is an elephant in the room of many relationships for the reason that I said that women feel that if they say something that he's going to be like, well, I only watch porn because of you. Yeah, that could have started out like that, but then it takes on kind of a life of its own. And I've never seen a sex life improve with the guy just using porn every day. You know, I mean, how could it? She's always being compared implicitly, not explicitly. He doesn't th- think, oh, she should be like a porn star, but he's seeing all these women. She becomes in the profound minority of the women he sees naked per day. And she's the least enthusiastic one because she's the only one that's not an actress, right? So she's compared to like a thousand women that are all better in bed than her. How could that not be bad for the relationship? Of course it is. All right, I hope you guys enjoy this. Please do subscribe. Of course, if you ever want to work with a therapist or a coach individually or as a relationship, reach out to me and my people at Best Life Behavioral Health. You could always email me at samantha at drpsychmom.com. And I'll talk to you all soon. Have a great day, guys.